The anime vanguards of day one is just dropping this weekend. After literally four weeks of waiting, we're finally getting the update. But it's here now, and it's Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, I think a Jujutsu Kaisen update is a pretty reasonable update because it's popular and since they haven't updated in a month i feel like it's something that's gonna draw people to the game again but still it is a little sad that it wasn't a different anime but in today's video we're gonna be going over what we can expect in the update and a few other things so let's get into it all right i've been in bed sick all day but the trailer dropped like a few hours ago i didn't even know so let's just watch it uh i want to have the audio muted just in case okay shibuya Okay, it's Shoso. Nice. Itadori. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's Itadori. That's not really... I mean, like, this is not the best lighting to show him off. Toto looks amazing, though. And then, who, who is this? Yeah, okay. It, it is Megamore. Okay. That's a really interesting unit. And then... Jogo? Toji. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, it's Shoso. Really cool. Toto too? Dude! Yo! Yeah, okay, that's sick. Who, and then Jogo? Itadori the goat? Alright, honestly? Decently unique for an Itadori unit, and then Toto too. I'm really happy we got Toto. That's really cool. Wait, what? Wait. Hold on. Do you want to switch put- That's sick, what? Dude. Okay. And then Shoso next. He's also another unit that I really wanted to see in a uh, JJK update. And then Jogo? Alright. He's also another really unique unit. I'm, I'm liking the character selection they have for this so far. Yeah, all the VFX look amazing. And then, yeah, that is Megamar. Yeah, that, that's Megamar. And then Toji, yeah. Some really, really good unit selection for this update. I'm really happy about that. Gojo, yup. And Sukuna. I'm really disappointed that it looks like that Yuji and Tsukuna be the same unit, but it's fine. Oh, and then that's an alternate map? Yo, alright, Gojo and Tsukuna? Okay, yo, okay, dude, this is cool. And then, oh, dude, it looks like, dude, this is gonna be so cool. Alright, yeah, really, really good VFX here. Oh, and then he has the 200% purple? And then Tsukuna, yeah, look, dude. These attacks look so unique. Okay, and we're getting tournaments. That's nice. Okay, all right. That's good. That's cool. Sunday. All right. Um, that was really, really cool. So, we'll look into it more in a bit. Maybe tomorrow when I'm not feeling as sick. But, uh, yeah, that, 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 was, that was really fun. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the actually amazing unit choices. Because Shibuya is a pretty big arc with... A lot of different characters doing different things and when it comes to Shibuya updates for different games they mostly pick the same units all just really overused for the Shibuya update at this point but for this update they not only introduced a lot of characters but they're also really unique choices now the total unit list is Itadori, Choso, Todo, Jogo, Nekamaru, Toji, Sukuna, and Gojo. Eight units in one update and they also said in some announcers that they did not show all of the units so this update's already gonna have a lot of new units which is very good for the game as right now there's not a lot but it also looks like that the majority of the units are gonna have a special something as we see later on in the trailer gojo and sukuna have their domain expansions and toto is able to switch places with a unit which that feature is really unique where most other games will have toto just sending the enemies back. And Gojo and Tsukuna's domains also look like they buff them. So not only will they have their own effects, but they will also be buffed. But now next, let's look at the features that this update will include. The main thing that I want to touch on is at the end of the trailer where we see the tournament section. I love the tournaments in anime adventures. They were really fun to do and also gave a lot of rewards if you did good enough. It was overall really fun. And I find it strange that no other game has done that because it was a pretty big feature in Anime Adventures since it even gave you an exclusive unit. But yeah, I'm just really glad to see that and it looks like it'll be pretty fun. Along with that, we also see the gold merchant, which was something that was strangely lacking from release. But now it's here and I'm assuming that you're gonna be able to buy food and the stars you need to evolve units. It is a smaller feature, but it's also pretty good for you to actually spend something with your gold. They also show Aqua, the stat reroll person, which I didn't know anything was up with that. 
but it says stat reroll slash transfer. So it looks like we're gonna be able to transfer stats from one unit to a different one, like an AA, which was, again, a really good system. But along with these, we also see two different maps, Shibuya Station and the actual city of Shibuya with Jogo's Meteor and other things. Now, I don't think we're gonna be getting two different story modes. The more likely answer is that it's probably going to be a story mode and a special game mode like raids, portals, or legend stages. And although this was a really long time ago, they did sneak portals. I mean, they did have the system somewhat finished. And since we already had legend stages for update zero and raids for update 0.5, I think this update is going to be a portal update, but then who would be the portal unit? I think for the portal unit, there's only two options, Kenjaku and Sugana. Now, Kenjaku is also a really unique unit for Shibuya updates, and I can also see him having a pretty good cosmetic. But if Sugana and Yuji are separate units, which I highly doubt, Sukuna is probably going to be the portal unit. But here's a bit more information on the update. The update will come with a new battle pass, which means a new battle pass unit, which would be interesting to see. Hopefully it's an actual anime character this time. Infinite leaderboards will reset with new rewards, which I also think is going to mean that we're getting a new unit. Paragon will reset with new rewards, which is a really good thing, because Paragon is a really great way of getting gems, and with it resetting, it'll make it even easier. And finally, Rengoku will be staying, which I feel like is something that should happen. Rengoku should be a permanent unit, because if you take away Rengoku from the raids, what's the point of grinding the raids? There's just no point whatsoever. That just ended up being a really bad idea. Then I'll give my final thoughts on everything that we know about the update so far. Initially, I was kind of bummed out about this big JJK update just because it's so overused. So far, this update looks really unique and it could be really fun. They might actually end up being one of the first games to do a Shibuya update right. But so far, every other game that's done a Shibuya update just doesn't feel like a good update. Half the time, they just somehow fumble. Another thing I'd like to touch on was the four-week wait between updates. I hope they never do this again. I think most of the community is gonna end up being disappointed with this update because of how long it took. I think the best route for future updates would be a major update for one week. Two weeks later, we can get a 0.5 update, and then two weeks after that, we get another major update. But with this issue, I think the devs have learned because they've already received a ton of criticism because they have dropped down a lot of players, even removing the fact that they removed a lot of ults and bombs. But yeah, overall, I think this update looks really good, and I'm really excited to see what they've been cooking up for the past four weeks because it has to be something good, dude. There's They cannot fumble this after four weeks of not updating. Man, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.